Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Uh, this is not um, a crafting video. <laughs> this is a... Uh, uh, I've gone mentally mind blocked. No, this is about these. This is what Mr. Boyce is making with his 3D printer. These are the vital visors. Oops, excuse me. That the NHS workers are in dire need of. These are, they're not the bestest ones in the world, but this is how they sit on your face. They're not resting on my ears. You can, but they would hurt after a while. They literally just sit around the side of your face. Uh, you put your head down. This covers, the visor comes to your chin. You're walking forward constantly. The virus would brush past you. It, it, hasn't got a chance to go in your ears because you will be in a constant flow of heading forward oops it doesn't go in your eyes it doesn't go in your nose and it doesn't go in your throat because you are this obviously obviously nhs workers would then also have a, a face mask rubber gloves aprons but they're really running short on these and this is what mr b has been making our GP surgery today picked up 20 off him with the acetate sheets on, all punched and lined up. So they've just got to clip them on. They, they've got holes here and they just clip into place. And it's just acetate sheets, which can be disinfected, wiped down with antibacterial rub, uh, disinfect and bleach anything, dried and reused. Uh, so we are, oh, excuse me, I your nose. So I've just come on to show you what they are. This is what Mr. Boyce is making. And, all, and we've had donations of acetate sheets. We're doing okay at the minute for acetate sheets, but Mr. Boyce is asking for anyone if they would like to donate filament. So any companies out there that run 3D printing place it, I, Anyone who runs a 3D printer that supplies the filament, if you would love to make a donation of filament, that would be amazing. He's doing everything for free of charge. He's not asking for a penny, apart from anyone who's got a kind enough heart to donate maybe a couple of quid towards filament. We are gonna buy a new printer sometime today this is my PayPal and email. We live in Swansea in South Wales in the UK. That's my PayPal. It's also my email and that is Mr. B's number. So if anyone would like to make a small donation for filament, acetate or towards a new printer, because we can only, he can only knock out 13 a day with these, uh, with one printer and he doesn't want to risk running the, you know, breaking his printer and wearing it out too quick because he would then be f feel like he couldn't help anybody and, and he doesn't charge a penny for these things but he wants to make them for NHS workers, care workers, doctors, police, anyone that's on the front line, binmen, postman, anyone that comes to your door to keep deliveries going, to keep this world ticking away whilst we're battling this horrible disease. Um, so I mean, even if it's a pound, you know, if twenty. Well, if two hundred people got on board, that we could buy a new printer and then double the capacity. I'm gonna buy him another what another printer. So it's definitely gonna double. But if people would like to donate towards, like I'm saying, filament, uh, acetate, and even this is it's called filament. And there's only I'll put a link in the description bar below of the filament, the acetate, and where, well, I'm obviously my PayPal, if you would like to donate towards a, a new printer so he can get, so if he gets three printers, he can run nearly 40 a day. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but 40 a day against the backlog that the NHS are having right now and not having any is way better than not having none at all or just the odd few. His GP, surgery turned up this morning she was nearly crying because she was so thankful for what he's done his, his posters had 
over 200 shares and I know those shares have had over 200 shares and so forth. He had a message off a lady in Canada, Ontario in Canada saying, your post has been shared with so many people, even here in Nova Scotia, we've heard about you, Mr. Boyce. So, and thank you for what you're doing. And if we can pass on the file that prints them, it just puts the file on a stick, which then goes into the 3D printer, presses a button and it prints. It's not hard work, it's just time consuming because it takes one hour, seven minutes to make one of these. So that's why he's only limited to about 13, 14 a day because of the man hours. Um, so if we had three of them on the go, I mean, it's our electric. It doesn't take much to run these things even. But if anyone's got a 3D printer and would like the file to print these, as long as you don't just want it for you. He had somebody say, I've got a 3D printer, I'll print some. So Paul sent him the file and he went, oh, that is fantastic news, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many are you planning on making? And he said three. And he went, oh, why only three? He went, one for me, one for the wife, one for the kid. And Paul was thinking, why aren't you going to make more to help your NHS? But some people are like that, I guess. Uh, some people just think of their own self and nobody else. Whereas Mr. Boyce cares for everybody every single person he meets he he just he's just got the biggest heart in the world he's he's so giving and he doesn't expect anything in return maybe like i'm saying it's not his idea to ask for donations that was my idea only because at 20 well at 17 pound a roll i know it only makes um each roll will make 90 which works out what's that 90 let me have a go at the calculator 90 uh, divided by say 17 pound they work out about 52 pence each uh, I'm Mr Boyce and we don't work so what filament he's got is what I bought him for the bone folders that he made me the little cute bone folders for my girls and so I bought red blue gray he bought the bronze we've got other colors as well but I bought them for my bone folders but he's, he's gonna run out some at some point and I'd hate for him to run out but uh, so if anyone's willing to donate acetate sheets fit him couple of quid maybe towards getting new filament so we can keep these product things going and maybe even if we get a few extra donations get an extra printer so instead of one being run try and get three running at the same time if not more he'd love to, he said he'd love a hundred of them because that way you could do a hundred and thirty a day and over the space of a week that's like seven hundred well, What's that? Oh my God. And my math skills today have gone really blur downhill. 130 times seven. You're talking nearly a thousand a week. And if we could do that over the next few weeks, oh, that'd be amazing. But yeah, uh, it's my idea to ask for the donations. So please, 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 if you can, anything, a pound, 50 pence, a couple of quid, send it to paypal i will take photographs of who's donated and post them in group i will also show receipts from when we've ordered online and paid for another printer you know if you want the file because you were you're able to print these yourself to get to your nhs workers then ring mr voice and he'll sort you out with it you know so this is an, a call out for anyone out there that is willing to select the nhs work on them free of charge but are not and I want to give back a little bit so we can help them. Because without the NHS, if they're all off sick, who's going to look after us when we get sick? Plain and simple. You look after the people that look after you. So thank you for watching. Love you to share, post and subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please share, share, share this video anywhere and everywhere you can. That way more people get involved. More people get to know that we are here 
to help the NHS, the care workers, anyone out there keeping this country going whilst we're sitting at home isolated. But if we can do our bit, then I am the proudest wife on the planet. My husband is my hero, my best friend, and has got the biggest heart in the world. So thank you for watching. I love you all to pieces. Come back soon. And please share, 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 share. <laughs> Bye for now. Stay safe, stay well, and keep your distance from people if you have to go out. Video call. Video call OMG. Your loved ones will lift their spirits up high. I'm telling you. See you soon. Bye.